Whoa, that is cool. What's up guys, this is Android Gaming Hardcore and today we're gonna be playing Tree of Savior in VR and see if it's really possible or if the resolution is enough and can it really replace our good old monitors yeah okay as you can see we are already in Windows Cliff House this is basically like an operating system place for Windows Mixed Reality headsets well anyways enough of that let's start shall we whoops a keyboard popped out okay what uh okay let's type a name test okay enter what it's not disappearing uh what should i do uh what <laughs> i can't see the back okay okay oh okay that's it confirm okay so let's type a number i can't see the keyboard <laughs> Uh, okay, what? Oh, backspace, delete, delete. 23. What? There's some. Ah. Uh, okay, that's sad. Okay, that's it. Okay, immediately I noticed that I need to look at the keyboard. And as you can see, I can't see the keyboard. So that's definitely a slight problem for typing, but not so much. If you're just gonna play because it's just WASD, F1, F2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can easily find that without even looking. But if you're using a controller, you don't really need to look at it unless you're a casual felt. <laughs> okay, let's name our savior. Dang! Typing in your keyboard without looking at it is hard. Uh, well, but it's just typing the name, okay. Forgive me guys, I am peeking at my keyboard right now. <laughs> Cause I can't type my name. Okay, that's good. So let's change the environment a bit, so... Let's see if it gets more immersive. <laughs> that never ceases to amaze me. It's a really good effect. Okay, so this is much better. Okay, so we're back at the savior selection screen. Okay, so that's our usual tutorial. Skip that. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is what Windows Cliff House can give you. So I guess we should try Big Screen Beta. It's a free app. It basically changes the environment so it can fit what you want for your play space. I just downloaded it because I'm getting tired of this Cliff House. So let's open it and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, we are in big screen beta now. It's de it definitely looks better. 
and we are in a living room this is really cool okay let's try to play I can't help but look at the place. It's really cool, guys. Okay, let's try a different place. And see if it gets better. Oh, the screen got smaller. What? And there's another screen. Oh, okay. I see like I'm gonna watch a movie. <laughs> there's an advertisement for Tomb Raider. <laughs> Okay, there I go again. I find it hard talking while playing. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be a streamer. <laughs> Cause I find it really hard playing while talking. I should change the size of the screen. I think oh, my motion controller turned off. Anyway, it's still playable even though the screen is kind of small. Okay, let's change the environment again. is cool okay this is awesome okay so it's definitely possible to play this in VR it's just the keyboard problem and for the resolution as I have said it seems like it's around 720p and it's possible and for the last question, can it really replace our monitors? Well, my answer is yes, if you can use and wear a VR headset for hours on end, like our regular monitors. But for me, I can only use this headset for around 2 hours, so I guess I'm gonna be using this headset just for games for now. That's it guys, that's another video. Like, subscribe, and this is Andre of Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.